This is day five, episode nine of my modular journey. Uh, today we're going to be talking about LFOs, specifically mutable instruments stages. So once again, this is a common thing you're going to hear in my uh, in my journey here is that I did a lot of research and once again looking for LFOs because now that I've got some sounds and things that I want to do, I want to introduce the invisible hand is stages, of course, because it has six different channels. Uh, all six of them can be LFOs, which sounded brilliant to me. Uh, once I got the segment generator, I learned it does a lot of other things as well. You can actually do ADSR or AD, and each one of these uh, these gated inputs can set a segment. Like, you know, if you put a gate here and here, it winds up being two different segments of, of sliders that do uh, shape and time and level. It's pretty amazing. Again, just another another beautiful module by, uh, by Mutable Instruments. Stages is mounted, and I'm going to get out my... Uh, what I call my Twizzlers, <laughs> my red cables, because I am going to use every damn one of these right now. So while I'm plugging all this stuff in, I guess I can say uh, the reason for the purchase, of course, was LFOs. Uh, the reason I picked this over anything else initially was because nothing else was available. Uh, I did want the Batumi uh, quad LFO. Uh, couldn't find it anywhere. Um, there's a lot of other uh, smaller, smaller, maybe even cheaper uh, LFO modules, but this one just had had six channels, so I figured, why not? Uh, this was another $360 module, so. Um, but here we go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let me power on the rack. So to kind of demonstrate why I think this is important and why I needed it, it was because I wanted to take uh, all of, I'm going to put all these in LFO mode real quick, which basically is a little bit of a long push on these on these channels. So these are now all LFOs running at uh, various rates. Let me uh, let me change some of the some of the rate settings. So you can see they they will they will run at different rates if you if you long push you know, like hold this and then move the slider. This was another interesting thing. That makes it like a really slow LFO versus uh, the normal speed. So now you can kind of see I've got some some randomness going on here. These two are going to be really slow. Uh, so that's important because w depending on where I jack this, uh, I want something to behave differently. So for this particular demo, I'm going to again use the marbles rings setup. I'm going to throw this this uh, LFO into brightness because I want it to move a little faster. Um, I can take this one into damping because I want it to, to damp, you know, raise and lower the damper a little slower. Um, this one I could probably put into position. So that way it does, uh, does that a little, a little slower as well. Uh, you can even use LFOs in marbles way over here. So let me see if these reach. Like, well, what if I want to change my jitter? Uh, and um, I guess I probably could have used, let me, let me do, let me get a longer red real quick here. I guess it doesn't have to be red, but it's going to be. Let me take the last one way over here. I'm going to bring it over here to timbre on, uh, on plates. So now with all that, let's jack up the, the volumes and, uh, and just, just hear the, again, the, the difference of, of the sound going on. barking all of a sudden. <laughs> That's the jitter. So this jitter is changing, so we can actually lower that. Again, not terribly musical, but here's, uh, here's one more to do. I'm going to take this LFO and bring it over here to the feedback jack. <laughs> So that's basically going to raise and lower feedback. I mean, I'm sorry, reverb. So the whole point of this short demo is just to show with LFOs, you can actually alter your sounds like on a, on a very slow or fast scale. the jitter here real quick. Huh? 
spread. Let's mess with spread. There you go. That's kind of neat. So if I was to uh, LFO one of the biases, this would cause, cause a shift in who's getting to play the most notes. So that's it for episode nine, uh, Mutable Instruments Stages being used as an LFO, which is what I primarily use it for currently in the rack. Uh, it has a, an extra firmware that came out uh, more recently, which adds about, oh my goodness, eight printed pages worth of features and functions to, to uh, stages, including super slow LFOs. So definitely check that out as well. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love stages in here because it is, it, it gives the evolving sound aspect. It, it really brings in that, uh, you know, that, uh, invisible hand. Uh, that's it. Uh, coming up next will be episode 10 and it is going to be my last mutable instruments module. I promise. Uh, but I picked up veils because I wanted to, to understand VCAs. So stay tuned.